In this video, I'm going to calculate the deadweight loss under Monopoly using two numerical examples. So here is a Monopolis inverse demand and marginal cost. So the inverse market demand, price equals 800 minus 8Q, and the marginal cost of production is constant at $160. Step one, we're going to get the total revenue for the monopolist. Total revenue is price times quantity, where the price is 800 minus 8Q. So in parentheses, I plugged in for the P term. And then that P term, 800 minus 8Q, is all multiplied by Q. Simplifying, we get this result. To get marginal revenue, we take the derivative of total revenue with respect to quantity. The derivative of 800Q is 800. The derivative of minus 8q squared, we bring down the 2 in front, so 2 times 8 gives us this 16. And then we subtract 1 from the exponent here on the q term, leaving us with q just raised to the power of 1. You'll note that the marginal revenue is the price equation, but with a slope that is twice as steep. So 800 minus 8q, it's just 800 minus 16q. The slope here is twice as steep. So the next step, we're going to set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Marginal revenue equal to marginal cost and solve for Q. Subtracting 160 from 800 and then dividing through by 16, the monopolist will produce 40 units of output at a price of plugging this 40 units of output, this Q equals 40, into the inverse demand, we see that price equals $480. The next step is we're going to graph the demand curve, marginal revenue curve, and marginal cost curve, or do a sketch of them at least, to help us locate the deadweight loss area, the deadweight loss triangle in this case. So our demand equation, marginal cost we said is constant at 160. Here's our marginal revenue. Marginal revenue looks like the inverse demand, but with a slope that's twice as steep. So if the demand curve is touching here at 100, marginal revenue will touch the quantity axis at half of that, or 50. We found numerically where MR equals MC, Q equals 40. We plug that 40 into the inverse demand and found that the monopolist profit maximizing price is $480. So the next step here, again, the goal is to find deadweight loss, uh, but we're going to need a little bit more information. We need to find where price equals marginal cost. That is the competitive outcome, by the way. So where does marginal cost equal price? So just set our price equation equal to marginal cost. So from the last slide, the inverse demand was 800 minus 8Q, setting that equal to our constant marginal cost of 160, and now solving for Q. Dividing through by 8, Q equals 80, so that's where this 80 is coming from right here. So let's get our deadweight loss. Our deadweight loss is going to be the area of this triangle between the height of the demand curve and marginal cost between 40 and 80 units of output. So the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So the height here is 480 minus 160. And here's that 1 half, so 40 minus 160 is the height. And the base of the triangle is 80 minus 40, right here. And that will simplify to a deadweight loss of $6,400. All right, let's do one more example. going to use the same inverse demand for the monopolist. This time we're going to change the marginal cost structure for the monopolist. Marginal cost equals 200 plus 4Q. Um, as we learned before, marginal revenue is just 800 minus 16Q. So setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. We're going to solve for Q. So dividing through here by 20, Q equals 30, so the profit maximizing output is 30 in this example. And for the profit maximizing price, plugging this 30 units into the inverse demand, the profit maximizing price is $560. As before, we're going to do a sketch. Okay, so the inverse demand and marginal revenue are exactly the same. 
marginal cost is no longer constant here at $160. Marginal cost equals 200 plus 4Q. So the marginal cost will start over here at a vertical intercept of 200 and have a positive slope here of 4. What we found was where MR equals MC, we found that Q equals 30, the profit maximizing output. We plugged that 30 into the demand equation. We found the profit maximizing price at 560. Uh, as before, we're going to need a little bit more information to get the deadweight loss. We once again need to find the competitive outcome. That's where price equals marginal cost, setting the price equation equal to our new mar marginal cost equation. We saw for Q, Q equals 50. So that's where this 50 is coming from, where the demand intersects marginal cost here. Q is 50, so we got that dimension. And we're going to need one other bit of information. We need to find marginal cost or marginal revenue at Q equals 30. In other words, what's the value of marginal cost at the profit maximizing output level? So taking this 30 units, plugging in the marginal cost and coming across, we see it's $320. So marginal cost is 200 plus 4Q. If Q is 30, marginal cost is 320. So now we have all the dimensions for our triangle. We'll calculate the dead weight loss. Dead weight loss is going to be this triangle right here that I'm outlining with my mouse. So we have a height of 560 minus 320. So 560 minus 320, that's just being read from here to here. And the base here is just 50 to 30. So we got the base of this triangle, 50 to 30. And just doing the math here, our deadweight loss is $2,400. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.